Welcome to Shruti Lakshmi's virtual classroom. Today we are going to see long division, also known as big seven division. Division is one of the four basic operations of arithmetic. The division symbol is represented with a horizontal line and a dot above and another dot below. This is the division symbol. Division is nothing but when you split a whole into equal parts or groups. So, let's see the mnemonic for long division. Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers rapidly? So, D for division and M for multiply and S for subtract and C to check if there's another number and B if there is another number bring it down and R for repeat or remainder. So when you have the remainder you're done. So let's see an example 83 divided by 6. Here 83 is the dividend. The dividend is the number that is getting divided into equal parts. And 6 is the divisor. The divisor indicates how many equal parts we are dividing the dividend into. Is 8 divisible by 6? Yes. So how many times? One time. So we write a 1 over here. The second step is to multiply. So we do 6 into 1 which is 6. Next we subtract. So we do 8 minus 6 which gives us 2. Next we check if there is another number. So there is another number here which is 3. So we bring it down. Next we repeat this process. Since there is another number. So, is 23 divisible by 6? If so, how many times? So, yes. So, 23 is divisible by 6 3 times. So, we multiply 6 into 3. Which is 18. And the next step is to subtract. So, 23 minus 18. Which gives us 5. So, we check if there is another number. Since there is no number, we are done. So, 13 is the quotient. The quotient is the result obtained by dividing one quantity by another. So, here 13 is the quotient. The reminder is the amount remaining after division. When one number divides another number completely, the remainder is always zero. So here, phi is the remainder. To check our answer, we do quotient into divisor plus reminder, which is the dividend. So, as you see here, the quotient is 13 and the divisor is 6. So 13 into 6 plus the reminder is 5. So 13 into 6 is 78 and plus 5. So 78 plus 5 is 83 which is the dividend. So we do this to check if our answer is right. So, since we got 83 as our answer, so this is right. Let's see another example. 2416 divided by 8. Here, 8 is the divisor and 2416 is the dividend. So, how many 8s can fit into 0 8s can fit in 2. So, we write a 0. Then we multiply 8 into 0 which is 0. 
So next we subtract 2 minus 0 which gives us 2. Then we check if there is another number. So here we have the next number 4. So we bring 4 down. Next we see how many 8s are in 24. 3 8s are in 24. So we multiply 8 into 3. So we do 24 minus 24 which gives us 0. Then we check if there is another number. If so, we bring it down. So we bring down 1. So, next we see how many 8s can fit in 1? 0. So we write a 0 and then we multiply 8 into 0 which gives us 0. So 1 minus 0 which is 1. Then we bring down 6. Since we still have another number. So when we bring down 6, how many 8s can fit in 16? 2. So we write 2. Next we multiply 8 into 2 which gives us 16. So we do 16 minus 16 which is 0. Which will be our reminder. And 302 which is our quotient. So to check our answer we do quotient into divisor plus reminder. So here the quotient is 302 and the divisor is 8. So we do 302 into 8 which gives us 2416. So since our reminder is 0, we don't have to add anything. So our answer is right. So 2416 divided by 8 is 302. Let's see another example. 813 divided by 4. Here 4 is the divisor and 813 is the dividend. So how many 4's can fit in 8? 2 4's can fit in 8. So we write it 2 here. Next we multiply 4 into 2 which gives us 8. Next we subtract 8 minus 8 and we get 0. Next we check if there is another number. There is. So we bring it down. So we bring down 1. So how many 4's can fit in 1? 0. So we write a 0. Next we do 4 into 0 which is 0. So we do 1 minus 0 which gives us 1. Next we check if there is another number. If that is we bring it down. So we have 3. So we bring down 3. Next we see how many 4's can fit in 13? 3 4's can fit in 13. So we write 3 and next we multiply 4 into 3 and we get 12. So 13 minus 12 is 1. So here the remainder is 1 and 203 is the quotient. To check our answer we multiply the quotient and the divisor. So here the quotient is 203 and the divisor is 4. So we do 203 into 4. So we get So we get 812. But don't forget to add the reminder. So the reminder is 1. So we do 812 plus 1. Which gives us 813. So 813 divided by 4 is 203 remainder 1. Thanks for watching.